Everybody, Tyler here at the championships, checking team number 21 at 22 Taters. This team has been absolutely on a tear. Every single event they've been to, they've been improving and getting better and better. And this year, no exception to the great success that they've had before. Of course, we're going to follow through this robot, double intake robot, going up into their shooter. Some climbers, some great automation as well, too. And to help me speak more about this fantastic robot, I have uh, Theron, Cole, Grace, and Ibrahim. And I can't wait to show up more about this robot here. Uh, it, Taters is to me has been a team that's just uh, throughout the years been just building uh, success upon each other each year. So listen in, check out more about this robot coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. Uh Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to the fun. First Updates Now is supported by the Milwaukee School of Engineering. MSOE offers week-long summer camps where high school students get to preview college by living on campus, exploring engineering programs, experimenting in labs, meeting with professors, and participating in fun group activities. Are you ready to experience STEM at MSOE? Visit msoe.edu slash summer to learn more and register. First Updates Now is supported by Stryker Careers. Apply the skills you gain as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is the top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. Uh, so let's start out with your intake. Uh, talk to me about some of the design and concept and anything that you might have uh, iterated on throughout the time as well. Okay, so we knew we wanted to do a double intake because the balls are really spread out throughout the field. And the other goal was to have a really flexible or robust intake. That way it could take a beating. So we achieved the flexibility through polycarb arms. As you can see, they're very thin and they are able to bend nicely. So the, our first concept was, um, had multiple rollers. You see a lot of teams have three, three rollers or maybe even four. We went with a single roller because it was lighter, allowing us to deploy quicker. So uh, it's able to um, survive throughout the whole event. Now, we had some issues with um, ball containment, so we added bungees and polycarb to keep the balls inside our robot, uh, and it's been working really well. So after the pickers, which are identical, it feeds into our ball system, which has four separate axles. Um, so it'll feed from the lower channel into this upper area and then it's stuck here. Now when the ball's in this upper channel, it doesn't feed until these upper rollers run. And these bottom rollers can run, but the ball won't move, causing a jam, which allows us to tra trap the second ball in the bottom of it. So we're, both of them are secured. All right. Now, that's how we um, got, built the ball system. So when it comes in here, how are you uh, kicking it up into the shooter so it gets into that spot? So the bottom rollers will take it from this ramp into the, the our um, indexing spot. Okay. And then these rollers kick it up to the shooter. Got it. And we'll see a piece of cargo coming in a little bit when we talk more about programming, but let's get into your shooter, talk more about that. And uh, as we start to go through that, Cole, uh, talk to me about uh, the type of shooter you went with, you know, having a uh, great swerve drive as well, too. I'd love to hear more about just the different features of it. Uh, and then I'd love to hear more about what kind of this motor is. Uh, is that just adjusting the hood or what goes into that, too? Uh, yeah, so this year when we first started designing the shooter, um, we knew that we were gonna need to spend a lot of time and resources on the climber and actually trying to fit all this in. Yeah. Uh, as you can tell, it's very cramped. And so we actually went with just a fixed hood shooter for our first event, which you can see here. Um, and so it's just made out of this 3D printed nylon, thanks to our sponsor, HP. Uh, and we've been using this a lot on the robot, but this one, just it's just a fixed hood because we realized that for our first competition, we just needed some simple, consistent shooting. Um, but when we came back, we started to iterate it on it a lot more. And so this is when we added the adjustable hood here. And so this adjustable hood is driven by the this Neo 550, which is connected to two lead screws. And so this allows us to keep it uh, lightweight and small while also uh, driving it up and down really quickly. Um, we also made sure just from the beginning of the season to have two flywheels uh, because we noticed that uh, backspin would tend cause the balls to kick out of the hub mm -hmm. and we've seen a, a lot of other teams having that issue um, and then I guess like the final iteration before we came to Houston here was uh, we added this treaded wheel we were using a Colson wheel but 
uh, you know, someone told us that the treaded wheel was a good option and we explored it. We actually ended up really liking it. So we've been going with that treaded wheel now and it's been serving us really well. For uh, taters, when you're shooting in the field, I've seen you shoot all over, but where's kind of the sweet spot for taters right now? Uh, kind of really anywhere between like the tarmac and the launch pad, those like mid-range shots yeah. are usually pretty good. Um, Sounds That's good. That's kind of the sweet spot. Yeah, let's continue on, talk more about your climber. Grace is going to cover that. Uh, and then uh, we'll talk a little bit about climber sequence, if there's anything we can demonstrate and show on that, too. Yeah, so this is our climber mechanism. We went with only two hooks because we wanted, we knew that if we had four, we might struggle with only hooking one instead of both, and then that would cause unexpected loads on the climber. So instead, we decided to design it to always only hook with one. Um, so we've shifted the center mass as far over this way as we can. And then we also, there's a two degree angle printed into this hook, so we actually hang flat on the hook, even though the robot's at an angle. Um, we have this uh, extending hook, and it just comes back with an air cylinder. So that way we have some cushion when we hit up against the bar, and we can also stay tangent to the next bar as we're swinging. Uh, and it also allows us to keep hooking on to both ballers at the same time and pull off later as we pull down on this. Uh, and then we also have this hook completely latches around the bar, so that way we can't ever get knocked off and we have to intentionally open it so we can pull off of that bar. About how long does it take for you to do a traversal? So it, it takes 14 seconds from lineup. Just Makes down. sense on there. Yeah, and we've got all these sensors that allow us to do it autonomously. We have two buttons, one goes up, and then one does the rest of it. So, well, let's have it. Ibrahim, I'd love to hear more about it from the program aspect. Uh, since this is an automated climb, if you can tell me a little bit more about what's gone into it, is there a way we can show up the climb sequence as well, too? Um. So tell us what's going on during this. Okay, so first we're extending the climber to grab the first bar, then now we're going and transferring into the second bar, and by this point we pulled onto the second bar. Now we're going and pulling onto the traversal run here. I love the automation that goes into it. It's so smooth on your team. It looks great as well, too. Uh, let's wrap up talking about your uh, color sensor. Let's see uh, cargo go in, talking about how that's been benefiting your team before we wrap up. Okay, yeah, so first, uh, here, uh, Theron, if you hold the ball, we can see that because it's tie-dye, it's confusing the camera a little bit, but it's intentionally running at three frames per second and grayscale so that we take the least processing power away from our limelight. They run on separate processes, but we found that if we were running any faster than this, then uh, it would be slowing down our vision alignment, which we don't want. And so you can see here that it shows that, you know, that's a blue ball and that's a red ball. And so when our driver cannot see uh, where the balls are, well, he can look at the camera. Sure. And it allows uh, better competitiveness. Yeah, absolutely. Makes it easier for a drive train to know, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Talk to me about your uh, color sensor as uh, we bring in a couple cargo. Okay. So let's pick, in a, let's pick a ball and run it through the ball channel. Uh, left picker. Oh. And then B. And so that was a feature we call blooping, which allows the driver to manually click a button and it'll automatically do a short shot for the ball. Sure. So he has so if he so if he sees the ball channel, he can choose to remove one ball so he doesn't score it. Well, Taters have uh, been looking absolutely phenomenal here as we're recording this. Uh, absolutely lights out in their division so far. So can't wait to see, of course, how you do here, but we really appreciate you taking the time and uh, good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. First Updates Now is supported by the Milwaukee School of Engineering. MSOE offers week-long summer camps where high school students get to preview college by living on campus, exploring engineering programs, experimenting in labs, meeting with professors, and participating in fun group activities. Are you ready to experience STEM at MSOE? Visit msoe.edu slash summer to learn more and register. Thanks to Stryker Careers for their support in this video. Apply the skills you gained as a first student or mentor and help change the world at Stryker. Stryker is a top career choice for many of those in first because of their commitment to innovation and saving lives. Learn more about the incredible culture at Stryker and view their thousands of positions available around the world at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. 
Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.